Hey, hi there. Thank you for taking the time to come see me today. I recently attended a professional symposium on the condo market outlook for 2011. Now, I got some excellent information and I'm going to share a little bit of it with you today. So why buy a condominium? Say you're an investor and you're looking for a safe, reliable return on your investment, a condominium is a pretty good alternative. In fact, Sean Hildebrand, who gave the presentation, said that over 5% return was realized in 2010 on condominium units across the GTA. While this is not as pronounced as the return on some homes across the GTA, for instance, a semi-detached or detached, it's still pretty decent. And furthermore, there's a very high likelihood of your getting your unit rented because in 2010, fewer than 2% of the condominium units were vacant. And also, if you're looking for a place to live, the purchase price of a condominium is accessible. It's traditionally much lower than that of a house house, for instance, a detached or a semi-detached home. And once you're in your sexy little downtown unit, you are in the real estate market and you are considerably closer to taking that next step, which is owning your house house, your semi-detached or detached home on a tree-lined street somewhere. One caveat is that the carrying costs of condominiums can be quite high. This is because the purchase price per square foot of new construction is increasing. So if your strategy is to purchase a condo as an investment unit and have the tenant pay for the, uh, have the tenant carry it and then some, you would be well advised to come in with a higher down payment. 30% is in fact more realistic. So who is buying these condominium units? Not too much of a shocker, some 40% of condominium purchasers in 2010 were 25 to 34 years of age. The more surprising number, however, is that another 40% of all condominium purchases in 2010 went to people over 65. These empty nesters are no longer interested in staying in their original family homes. They are opting for the low maintenance lifestyle of condominium. However, while these folks are downsizing, they're by no means downgrading. Some 8% of condos in 2010 were over 500k, and in part, they're going to this demographic. So who is renting condominiums? There's a very strong market for the condominium rental units. For instance, career renters, who traditionally would live in purpose-built rental accommodation. We have young singles or couples before the kids come along, and we have many uh, new Canadians of Southeast Asian origin. These are all looking to the rental condominium market for accommodation. So the take home message and the exciting bit is all of this is as follows. About two to four years ago, some 50% of all pre-construction units were purchased up by investors. Now these units are complete and their owners are putting them on the resale market. Now get this, these are brand new, never lived in condominiums. They can sell these units at a relative bargain at the same price as pre-construction units today because the price per square foot of pre-construction is increasing. Conversely, if you want to be one of these investors yourself and you don't mind the wait of two to three years for your unit to be constructed, developers are now offering you as buyers huge incentives. We're talking thousands off the purchase price. They're giving away cars, they're giving away free lockers. Just Google condo incentive GTA or something and you'll see. That is pretty exciting, I think. So there you have it. These are some highlights of the presentation that I attended. If you have any questions or if you want to talk about selling or purchasing a condominium unit, I invite you to call me. We can begin your process with just one tiny conversation.